Hi, let's take a look and see what's new inside Caspio 15.0. In the new release, you'll now be able to enhance the security of your Caspio account by enabling two-factor authentication during login. This added layer of security includes different methods of authentication to protect your account against password compromises. In addition to existing triggered actions, you can now create tasks to further automate operations in your applications. Tasks are especially useful when you want to process large volumes of data, send reminders, or schedule email campaigns to start at a given time. Using the all-new payment integration, you will now be able to integrate your Caspio applications with payment gateways to accept payments in real time. Because the credit card information will not be stored inside your Caspio table, this will allow you to create PCI-compliant applications using Caspio. And last but not least, when creating a report data page, you'll now have the ability to combine the search and results on the same screen. Let's take a closer look at each of the new features. To enable two-factor authentication, go to your Caspio profile and click on the edit link in the security section. Here you want to enable two-factor authentication and then proceed with the method you'd like to use. If you choose SMS, you'll then have to use a security code sent to your phone prior to logging in. Conversely, if you choose Google Authenticator, you'll need to scan the QR code using Google's app in order to log in. Let's move on to the next feature. The all-new Tasks feature allows us to automate many operations inside our Caspio applications. Here I have a task created to trigger an email reminder one day before the event date. First thing you'll want to do is set the frequency how often you want this task to run. In my example, as you can see, I have set it to run daily. Next, insert the action you wish to have executed when the task runs. In this case, we have included a send email action. If you wish to access data from your tables, you can then click on the gear icon and insert a select statement. We have joined our registration table to the event listing table so that we have access to the data from both tables. We then included criteria in the where clause to control whether or not the action will execute. In this case, we are saying that if the event is one day from today, send an email to all the attendees of the event. So to sum it up, this task will run daily, but the email reminder will only be sent one day before the event because of our criteria in the WHERE clause. Last thing left to do is to configure email fields with the appropriate message. Let's go ahead and move on to the next feature. With the all-new payment integration, you can now process payments using a credit card or PayPal Express. To enable payments in your applications, you'll first need to go to Tools and set up your desired payment processor. Caspio currently supports PayPal Express and Stripe for processing payment transactions. You'll need to click New if you don't have one created. You can also access the Logs page to view the status of each transaction. It's also worth mentioning that you can build a Report Data page to display the same information. Once you have successfully connected your Caspio account to either PayPal or Stripe or both, by following instructions, you'll then want to insert the payment fields using the Insert button of the Submission Form Configuration page. Here you can choose Stripe to process credit card transactions and or PayPal Express. You'll want to select your total field and also specify your desired currency. If you wish to store the transaction information inside your table, you will need to create a field inside a table for each and map out the fields here in the Advanced tab. Lastly, when embedding or publishing the form, for security reasons, your page will need to be in HTTPS, otherwise the form will not display. Now let's take a look at the last feature. With the previous settings, in order to view the results, we needed to click Search to view the data. Now by simply selecting the radio button to display search form above the results, you'll have the ability to display the search and results on the same screen. This makes it a lot easier to filter data without having to go back and forth between the two screens. Thank you for watching the release video. Be sure to read the release notes for more details on these features and many other smaller enhancements included in this release, plus step-by-step -step instructions on howto.caspio.com.